Coming up on this edition of the Cal Sports Report, excitement and expectations have never been higher for the California Golden Bears. Heisman hopeful Marshawn Lynch headlines an explosive offense that seeks to spread the wealth among a bevy of talented playmakers. No Pac-10 team allowed fewer points than last year's defense, and most of that unit returns. On the horizon, a new look Memorial Stadium, a necessity and a reward for a program that has reached new heights. We will be joined by head coach Jeff Tedford as we get you ready for the 2006 campaign on the Cal Sports Report. It's a lot of excitement. Uh, you know, high expectations for both teams coming in. Uh, SEC school, you know, Pac-10 don't get a lot of respect, but, you know, hopefully we can earn it. Jeff Tedford's four seasons at California, the Bears have consistently delivered high-powered, exciting offensive teams, a fixture among the nation's elite in rushing, scoring, and total offense. But during this past offseason, Tedford brought in Mike Dunbar from Northwestern to introduce what is known as the spread offense to Cal's arsenal. Its purpose? To force defenses to cover more of the field, both horizontally and vertically. And while Dunbar believes every position will benefit from some of the spread principles, he is convinced the guys toting the football will enjoy it the most. Spread is really, I think, a plus because it gets those numbers down to the five or six that we can see and it obviously allows our linemen to come off the ball and just move people and the running back kind of runs where they're not. And that would mean even more opportunities for one of the most exciting duos in college football. That would be juniors Marshawn Lynch and Justin Forsett, the leading returning rushing tandem in the nation. Lynch is a bona fide Heisman Trophy candidate with all the necessary skills. Over 1,200 yards on the ground last season in just 10 games. All Forsett did was come within three feet of the 1,000-yard plateau and average over seven and a half yards per carry. You can only imagine the lost sleep for opposing coaches with one on the field, but what about both? There might be a small chance that that may transpire. <laughs> The Bears could very well have the last laugh if all the pieces fall into place. There's an offensive line that lost three players to the NFL, but returns Eric Robertson at one guard, Andrew Cameron and Scott Smith at tackle, plus budding star Alex Mack at center. Craig Stevens returns as one of the top tight ends in the Pac-10. And on the outside, a bevy of speedy receivers led by sophomore Deshaun Jackson and juniors Lavelle Hawkins and Robert Jordan, each capable of going the distance on any play. We got a lot of good receivers, uh, Lavelle, Deshaun, uh, even uh, Lavelle Cunningham, David Gray. We got a lot of speed out there, so, you know, we got a lot of people that can do things with the ball. With Tim Mixon gone for the year, Jackson will fill the role of punt returner, something he did quite effectively last season, as Sacramento State will attest to. And at the other end, Deshaun Jackson at the 49, thinking about sweeping right, gets by a couple of guys, breaks to the outside. He's got a block. He's got a second block. He's down the sideline, 15-10-5. Touchdown, Bears! The last piece of the puzzle might be the most perplexing. That would be quarterback, where Joe A. Ube and Nate Longshore have once again engaged in a spirited competition for the starting job. And as the season progresses, don't forget senior Steve Levy, who got the Bears to victory in the big game and the Las Vegas Bowl triumph over BYU. Joining us now is head coach Jeff Tedford and Jeff, uh, the players and uh, your assistant coaches are certainly excited about the big change that we've uh, seen already in the spring and the fall camp. That's the spread offense. What have you seen from your team and how has that transition developed so far? Well, it's been great. I, I've been very, very pleased with our intensity of practice. Our players came back to camp ready to go. Uh, with the addition of some of the spread uh, concepts, I think our players are really catching on to it quick. Uh, I think our centers did a nice job over the summer of really practicing the shotgun snaps. And so the timing of it looks great right now. Maybe the marquee player you have offensively, that's Marshawn Lynch, a man that had uh, a tremendous year last year, even though he didn't play in every game, uh, getting Heisman consideration. Uh, what kind of a season do you expect from him? A big season. Um, I'm really impressed with uh, Marshawn's work ethic. Uh, he has done a great job. It's very obvious that through summer he really worked hard in, in strength and conditioning and uh, he's ready to go. He, he's matured so much as a person and as a player and he's a great leader for our team and he's just a phenomenal player. He can do everything. He can run inside, he can run outside. He's a great receiver. He's a great pass protector. He's working very, very hard. So uh, I, I anticipate a great year for Marshawn. You really do have a luxury of riches in that backfield because Justin Forsett is a young man that came in last year and proved that 
not only can he compete at this level, he can excel, 999 yards rushing. Uh, Marcus O'Keefe is a backup as well, a couple of freshmen coming in too. Yeah, we're, we're deep at that position. We feel very good about that. Justin Forsett, you know, he's a great guy to have. If Marshawn comes out, he gets a little tired, we put Justin in and he does a phenomenal job. Uh, I think this spread game for him is, is really meant for him. He, he's a little bit shorter, he can hide behind the line, he's so quick hitting the holes. And Marcus O'Keefe unfortunately pulled a hamstring early in camp, so we haven't seen a lot of him, but we know what he can do from, from previous years. You also have an interesting situation at quarterback, and as we tape this show, we don't know who's going to be the starter necessarily, but you have three quarterbacks that all have at least some game experience. Yeah, I, I think that's that's a, a strength of our team as far as having confidence in that position. Uh, we have three guys, there, Nate coming back, who who really is is the most experienced as far as knowledge in the offense is concerned. And then you have Joe, who's really persevered through some tough times last year and did a great job in spring. He's having a great camp so far, but he has all the playing experience. So, and then Steve Levy, of course, with with the two games that he played last year, he brings some experience and, and some confidence to the team as well. So. We feel good about all three of those guys. Wide receivers, obviously, Deshaun Jackson, Robert Jordan, well, Hawkins uh, have proven themselves. Let's talk about the offensive line. You lost three guys to the NFL. How has that new group worked so far? Great. Uh, I think with the addition of Andrew Cameron coming back, uh, that provides some stability there, some experience, some knowledge about game time. He's a very talented guy. He's held down that left tackle position for us for a few years, so it's nice to see him back in the mix. Mike Tepper's back. He's making a strong contribution. Scott Smith, he's done a great job. Eric Robertson, those guys all play. I think Alex Mack, uh, taking over from Marvin Phillip there, I mean, he's just done a, a phenomenal job. I think he's going to be a great center. He'll be an all-conference center. So it looks like a matter of the offense just reloading. It's averaged 32 or more points each and every year under head coach Jeff Tedford. When we come back, we'll take a look at the defense, which last year led the Pac-10 in scoring defense.